Welcome back to Adam Rush Tutorials. This is my second Halloween tutorial. This is the Gothic Raven Queen and I will show you how to make this colour, how to do your hair and how to do this makeup. So if you want to see how I did this then please keep on watching. Hey everyone, for this colour, um, feather colour, you will need a bit of fabric. Preferably black but this is just a scrap bit I had. Um, if you have the choice and you're in a fabric store, go for something that is cotton or uh, linen, which is breathable. You want to start off with measuring around your neck. For me, that's 34 centimeters, and the height of it. Now, just do the bit that is um, basically flat, like a flat barrel, not not where it doesn't go out yet, because the feathers will do that. So for me that's about 7 centimeters. so that's what you want to remember. I'm going to start off with this um, fusible material, check which side is the sticky side. And I'm going to iron that onto my fabric before I cut it, because that will give me nice edges. So iron your stiffener onto your fabric on the inside. Again here it would be nice if you have this stuff in black. I know it exists but I, I'm just using what I have here. So when that's stuck you'll end up with something like this. Now you measure out those dimensions you had. Now I measured 34 centimeters but I'm gonna add two centimeters or so at the end. So I have a little bit of room to work with. So I said seven centimeters. And cut that out. What I'm doing is cutting these uh, feathers to length. putting a little blob of glue on the back and overlapping them onto my stiffened strip of fabric. So keep going like this, alternating sides. If you have more feathers, you can add multiple ones uh, in, in alternating directions. I'm going to see if I want to do that by just um, putting it on. <laughs> Alright, this is what I got so far. And yes, I think I would like to add some more. I wasn't sure if I had enough fe feathers, so I thought I'd do one layer first and then see how far I had gotten. I'm gonna make the ones in between a bit shorter and I'm going to start off with the ones you would see on the front so the outer edges I use the seam ripper to make a little hole on the inside of my um, collar and I'm just going to pull this ribbon any black ribbon will do through it so I'm able to close it on the inside if, uh, on the front I mean I left my ribbon long enough so I can actually put this over my head, which I think is handy. And then you can pull it closed. And if you feel like it, you can add a little um, hanger or something that you might have. I'm using here a cameo. I'm just gonna thread both ribbons through it. Adjust feathers according to where we want them. And that's the first part of our costume uh, done. So let's move on to the makeup. As you can see, I already did one eye. I'm going to show you how I did that. So we're going to start off with um, well, I already primed my eyes, so start off with that. And then um, you want to fix your eyebrow 
Since the eye is very dark, I'm also going to darken my eyebrows somewhat. First I'll run some uh, eyebrow pencil in my normal colour through it. And now I'm going to take a, a black eyeliner uh, pencil, cold pencil, and also very gently run some of that through my eyebrow. And brush that through. You can try and give yourself a little bit more of an arch than you already have. Right, when you've done that, <clears throat> I'm using my normal highlighter shade, which is Strange from the Naked 3 palette. I'm running that under my eyebrow to define it. Bring it in also here. Now I want to make a base for this smoky eye, so I'm just going to take that same black cold pencil I used before and I'm going to just randomly put some black on my eyelid here. And then taking a sort of stiffer dome brush to blend it out. And yes, it will look messy at first. Now the colours. I'll be using for this smoky eye um, are mainly from the Naked uh, 2 palette from Urban Decay and I'm using Blackout and Pistol and a little bit of Verve and I'm going to start off with a little bit of Blackout here at the outer corner in the center I'm going to place a little bit of Pistol so what you basically need is a dark grey, a black and a light grey. And something to blend it out with, so something that's sort of your skin colour. I'm placing the lightest colour, Verve, in the inner corner here. Go back to that sort of stiffer brush, and blend pistol and black out together. Now, then easiest thing to do is to put <clears throat> a bit of tape here at this angle only my skin doesn't really like that so I, I got some really bad rash from that before maybe it was the, the brand of tape but I'm not gonna do it now I'm gonna mix a little bit of Naked from, Na from the Naked One palette and a little bit of Strange here and place that here as a blending colour and now I'm gonna bring that black that we put in up and sort of make that cat eye shape. <clears throat> it's basically just uh, adding more product, blending it out, adding more product till you have the depth that you want. I'm gonna slightly, slowly bring that black up. Pistol and sort of running it along the upper edge here to blend it out. And add a little bit of tease also from uh, Naked 2 and a little bit, mix that with a little bit of Naked and sort of run that along the edge here to blend it out. Take a slightly cleaner brush and also do that on the inside with a little bit of the Naked here. So do go over the colours again to make them a bit more intense. I'm taking my <coughs> cold pencil again and sort of darkening and I'm just doing the outer portion of my lower lash line. In the inner I am using NYX um, Jumbo Pencil in Yogurt. Now I'm going to use a, well this is, I bought this in America, um, you can't actually get this here so I was happy to find it. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster um, Eyeliner. It's a really fine tipped eyeliner and I'm just going to line my lash line here. And then start making these intricate flicks. On the top I just have a straight one. 
running along that blackout. Then I have one coming out that is also straight but a bit shorter with underneath it a curled. And one coming sort of like down with a couple of dots. I'm also going to fill in my beauty mark that I also have here. And now underneath you want to run um, this in between your lower lash line. Connecting it up the edge here. You have sort of like a very shallow sort of curve going on. Do note that I'm just making s small strokes, you don't have to do it all in one go. Make it a little bit easier on myself. So put on some mascara, I'm using this one, the Max Factor Clump Defy Extension False Lash, Lash Effect, always oh, such a mouthful, and then I'm putting on these lashes, I got these at Walmart of all places, um, when I was over in America, but I thought they were really quite cool, so I picked them up, so I'll just put that on and come back because I know I will cry. <laughs> That's what it looks like with the lashes on. Now this look would be very nice with a lighter sort of um, foundation, but I only have this one, so I'm just gonna put a layer of my powder on, just to mattify and make my skin a bit even, more even. If you want to, you can take a um, slightly darker color and sort of contour a bit. Might look quite good, just under the cheekbone. I'm using T's here from the. Naked 2 palette. <clears throat> Let's move on to lips. Now I'm using that same black coal pencil again to line my lips, at least on the outer corner. <clears throat> the one I'm using here is the Midnight Plum from Maybelline. I'm gonna put on top a lipstick that I just purchased for this purpose, which is also a really dark red. It is from the Hema here in the Netherlands, fairly cheap, cheap one, but you know, Halloween and all that. Small brush and some concealer and just run that next along my lips and then run some of my powder over to set it. And that's the finished makeup. You can finish off with a lip gloss if you would like that. And I'm gonna move on to hair now. In the interest of this video not getting too long, I've already done one side of my hair. Um, what I did is divide my hair into two and then grab a little section from the middle of your head here. Something like that. Take a hair donut, hair foundation, put that little bit through there and use a couple of these uh, corkscrew twist in uh, hair pins to keep that in place. Now I'm taking one of these rollers with the, um, which were from the roll. Uh, victory roll kit, which is handy because they have that velcro on there and twist that strand over there and then stick a couple of bobby pins into it to keep it in place I'm using rather large ones here that, I'll know, that I know will keep this lot in place if you feel like it's secure you can let go of it this front section I'm going to wrap last, start at the back, grab some hair and wrap that over 
your donut. Secure with bobby pin. Grab another section of hair and try and wrap that entire cone. Doesn't have to be too neat, but you do want everything covered. Last but not least, take that front section, sort of drape that over. Stick more bobby pins in if you have to. Until you feel it's secure and finish off with a good bit of hairspray. Now I'm taking a little bit more of that black ribbon I had. And I just let it hang like this. I think that looks quite cool. Now as a finishing touch I'm taking a sort of gothic-y looking necklace and it's not big enough to go around my head but I'm just going to pin it into my hair and I'm just pinning it into the hair foundation and just put on something black I have this very old dress of mine um, I'll zoom out a bit and you can see it it's sort of a gothic type dress from my sort of gothic days. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this second Halloween tutorial. Uh, I hope you try it out. And I will see you guys next week. Bye everyone! Totally forgot I also bought these little hair uh, clips with ravens in them for this look.